that depends how you look at it. In the belief that Jesus is the Messiah, yes. But in terms of what the first followers of Jesus were, how they lived, I think there's a greater similarity to that. Messianic Jews, Jews who have accepted Jesus and understood he's the Jewish Messiah, actually uh, are more observant than most Jewish people. In other words, the celebration of the feasts like Passover, uh, the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah, uh, Shabbat, were actually more observant as Jews than most of the Jewish community, which is secular. So in a very real sense, we're, we're more Jewish than we were before. Because ultimately the Christian message should be about the Christ, the Messiah, the Christos. And in that respect, we agree with the Christian community that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah. He is the Savior. And we, we come to this conclusion from our own Jewish scriptures, from our prophets. if we're going to be bringing humanitarian or medical assistance to Jewish communities near Ar in Argentina or near Argentina, the festival that we're doing can really make a difference in someone's life, whether they're Jewish or whether they're not Jewish. All of us have challenges in life. Many suffer from depression, uh, from family uh, divisions, uh, from economic challenges. There's a whole list of things that we have to endure through life. And I also uh, feel that everyone needs to answer some questions, the important questions of life. Why are we here? What's going to happen to us after we die? And, and I've seen, as I've said before, thousands of people come to festivals and be del uh, changed delivered of depression, healed. I'm talking about a supernatural solution to the problems we face in life and answers to the questions that all of us are asking or should be asking. When we do, when we help people with medicines or eyeglasses or dental care, we may be improving the quality of their life or keeping them alive physically, but there's the spiritual dimension too uh, that, that needs to be addressed. And I, f I feel like the festival will help address those, those issues that are so important. I spent a lot of time in Rosario yet, of course, as you say, only a day, but I spent many weeks in Buenos Aires uh, about 10 years ago, uh, organizing a similar festival at the Luna Park. Uh, two years ago we were in Cordoba uh, doing such a festival, and Rosario is a city that I've wanted to visit for many years now with such a festival. And I'm seeing the same thing uh, I've seen since the first time I came to Argentina. A very warm population who loves life, has the best uh, beef in the world. So I, I love the dining experiences here and the people. I love the culture. Uh, there's so much I love about Argentina and I'm seeing that reflected in Rosario, although I've only been here a short time. 
Well, first of all, we, we want to connect with a lot of people here and, and help, help understand the, the needs they face. The Jewish community in particular is, is, has, is always quite nervous over what their fate is, what their fate will be. They've been targets of attacks before. When there's economic uh, problems, the Jewish community is often blamed. First, we, we, we want to impact people's lives. We, I, don't, I don't believe that our message is a religious message, but a spiritual message. We want to leave behind uh, a deposit of goodwill. We want uh, the community here in Rosario to feel that they've been ministered to, that they've received something positive. And of course, that means that many, we hope many come to the festival and that people really left saying this was a wonderful experience, even a life-changing experience.